What are the causes of sudden loss of vision? Obstruction of central retinal artery or vein, retinal detachment, anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, vitreous hemorrhage, and toxic optic nerve neuropathy. What's amaurosis fugax? Amaurosis fugax is a transient or a sudden visual loss or a transient ischemic attack of the retina and is due to a clot or ambulance in a central retinal artery or of its branches. It depends on the size of the ambulance. It may block a smaller branch or main artery. Patient describe it as a curtain descending down. If the clot or block result the patient vision is returned back but if it doesn't then an ir irreversible damage to the neural tissue occurs after only 90 minutes. What do you see on ophthalmoscopy zones of whitened edematous retina. In case of a complete retinal artery occlusion there is a cherry red spot and retina is pale and milky white it's called a milky retina. What's the difference between the central retinal artery occlusion and the central retinal vein occlusion? Both of them cause sudden painless acute loss of vision. So in central retinal artery occlusion there is milky retina with cherry red fovea. So what are the risk factors are occurs in males over the age of 40, hypertensive, Caucasian, smokers and diabetic. What are the most common causes for the central retinal artery occlusion? In old age it's the atherosclerosis but in younger age it's the giant cell arthritis that causes central retinal artery occlusion. Other causes include descending aneurysm and arterial spasms. What are the sources of central retinal artery occlusion? Atheromatous plague, vegetation from the cardiac valve and dental abscesses and atrial fibrillation. Rarely migraine, SLE, IV drug abuser and blood dyscrasia patient may have occlusion. How is the retina in central retinal vein occlusion? Veins appear engorged and phlebatic with hemorrhages which is known as blood and thunder appearance or stormy sunset. The virtual stride for thrombogenesis involving vessel damage, stasis and hypercoagulability. Central retinal artery and vein share a common path so vein may be blocked due to atherosclerosis in the artery. Causes of the venous occlusion are hypertension, diabetes, glaucoma and polycythemia. So the difference between the central retinal artery and vein occlusion on retinoscopy is the blood and thunder in a stormy retina in the central retinal vein obstruction and milky white with cherry rod phobia in central retinal artery occlusion. Next cause of acute visual loss is anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. What's the blood supply of the optic disc? It's the posterior ciliary artery. Acute ischemic optic neuropathy causes sudden painless monoocular loss of vision. There is optic disc edema with surrounding splinter hemorrhages. The two forms, arthritic which is less common, only 5% of patients with joint cell arthritis. And how you diagnose the joint cell arthritis is confirmed by temporal artery biopsy. And why do you give high doses of steroid in these cases? to prevent blindness in the other eye. Non-arthritic cases are the most common in rest of the cases but there is no treatment for them. Toxic optic nerve neuropathy is the other cause of acute visual loss. What are the substances which cause toxic optic neuropathy? Ethambutol, methyl alcohol or methanol, ethylene glycol or antifreeze and carbon monoxide. What are the clinical features? Acute visual loss with bilateral optic disc swelling and central or sequocentral eschatoma. Toxic optic neuropathy can also cause gradual visual loss without optic disc swelling. So what are the substances that cause insidious visual loss? Amongst the cardiac drugs that cause in insidious visual loss, imidrone digitalis, amongst the antibiotics ciprofloxacin, TB drugs, INH and streptomycin and sulfur drugs. Deficiency states of starvation, malabsorption and alcoholism can also cause the insidious visual loss and toxic optic nerve neuropathy. What should be checked in a patient with bilateral scotomas and optic pallor? Vitamin B1, B12 and folate.